Hey people of the interweb, I'm Nostalgic Dave and I'm not looking forward to seeing what's inside this bleeding door. Yes, the door is bleeding, okay? It's the door bleeding. No, no there's, there's nobody inside with a lot of blood just pouring out. That's crazy! Did I just... The door has to be open for the... Oh boy. I can't just shoot the panel like in the movies. That'd be kind of cool, actually. No? Uh, boy. Nope. Nobody home. Yeah, uh, that's because they're probably dead. Looks like blood coming out from under the... Yeah, no kidding. It's probably William's blood. If I were to consider it. Um... I remember you have to get, like, food at some point. Huh. Not hungry. I am. Oh, man, I'm still also trying to wake up. Like an hour ago, and I don't know why I can't... Okay, well, that's not... I... I don't know. Never going to know. I had such an easier time with five days. Good freaking golly. Well, I guess I'm gonna go tell... I don't know, I, I, just, I, I don't know. There's blood at Will's door, I think Will might be dead. And Adam, I think we're the only two left. Adam! Adam? John? I don't think William will be joining us. It got him, didn't it? I don't know yet. There's blood coming out from under his door. God. And then there were two. Wow. We're referencing that now, huh? <laughs> so, in case... For those who don't know that statement, and then there were two, that's a reference to a really old movie. William could still be alive. You don't know! Maybe he's experimenting. Oh, sure. We shouldn't jump to conclusions. Three people are dead. There's blood coming out from under the door. I think there's only one reasonable conclusion. He could be wounded. We can't just leave him here. So I suppose we should... If he's wounded that badly, then he's going to be dead anyway. Forget it. He's lost. Yeah, I mean, that's realistic. If he's bleeding that much, he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> Is the escape pod ready? It's been ready for hours, but that's not the problem. The security card is still in William's quarters. Behind a locked door. I knew this wasn't going to be easy. Is there any way to get William's door open? I think there is. The console in Barry's quarters can override all security something. It's some kind of defensive measure. Okay, so we just need to go there and something. As I recall, a passcode is required. Do 
you know about his security code? Of course not. Maybe there's something in his quarters that could help us figure it out. I don't know. Try to hack. <sighs> Why are you with your engineering? Sorry, but I don't think that was covered in basic training. Since it's, you know, illegal. Don't panic, Adam. We'll get through this. I wish I had your optimism, John. Do you see... Okay, fine. I'll be right back. I'll be right back once I've illegally stolen the code. No, not the air... This key card. That key card. Okay, so there's got to be something around here somewhere. The bed? The desk? Is there anything in the bed, maybe? It's just a waste pick basket. Okay, you know what? Anything technical? You can tell this is the captain's bed. He gets brown sheets. So fancy. So? The drawers are locked. Shoot the drawers open. That's my resolve for everything right now. Just shoot it and it'll open. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. Help. Captain. Oh. Captain. There's an entry six digit override code to act. I am going to look this up because I do not want to waste time trying to search this for hours on end. Okay, I didn't even look it up. I first thing I see is check his email. I'm like, oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> email. Menu. Menu. Not menu. It's menu. Menu. Email. Perry, I'm so sorry. I forgot it was your birthday on Monday. Happy belated 55th. Anyway. You're talking to a dead person, sir. <laughs> um. Let's see. Date. Dater. I can't English. The T. Date. Today's date is the 1st of August. 2385. So, let's see. Prior to this would be... July? So, today is... This, this is on Friday, I believe. So... And it started on Sunday? Monday was the birthday, so... Friday? Uh... Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday. Okay, so the 28th. Uh, 22807, maybe. Two eight zero seven. Okay. Zero, seven, two, eight. No? Oh, it's six digit. What was the year again? Dang it! Twenty eighth of July, whatever year it is. 
I don't know. Uh, mail. Date, right. 85. Okay, so it'd be, um... 2807.85, I believe. If I did that right. Uh, Captain... Barry's date of birth, like the actual date he was born. Uh, so it's like either way around, it's gonna be uh, 2807. What was the year? 2585? That would be 35, 35, not 8535. No, 30, because he's 55 years old. So 30. So. Two eight zero seven. Oh boy, zero seven three zero. Boom! <laughs> Please enter the appropriate number. Withdraw radio mask from for five minutes. What the frick is number three? First of all. Number two, I don't want to know what number three is. Residential decks. What's number three? Error. Okay. Did you, we want number 22. Security disabled. Star radio mess for five minutes. I guess. Okay. Menu. All right. Well, I guess we're done. We are done. Let's... Exit, I guess. All right. Time to go visit freaking Mathu. Probably a dead man. I need my sniper at the ready. I don't see anything. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm trying to interact, not see it. I don't want to look at it. That's just weird. People who just stare at doors are weird. What? What are you looking at me for? Yeah, I said they're weird. So am I. Shut up. Ow. Okay, man. <laughs> Alright, let's go inside. Whoa! Ah! Uh. The f fuck have you been doing, William? Ah. Yeah, let's leave William here. I've got it. I've got the security card. Great, give it here. You should have seen William's room. It was... Ugh. Body parts on every surface. Oh God, please, let's just forget it. I didn't think William could be capable of such a thing. What other explanation is there? That locker. There was something evil in that locker, I know it. Oh, come off it, John. There was nothing in that locker, but... 
But what? Nothing. No, you were going to say something. What was in the box, Adam? I can't, John. You opened the box? I thought the box opened itself. I had this awful dream. Something in the box has had killed us all. And when I woke up, it was so terrified. I just had to get a look inside the box. Make sure it was... Okay, I just couldn't have slept before I did. It wasn't it, Adam. That's the weird thing. No human remains at all. There was a wielding mask, a leather apron, and a machete. And a funny little wooden doll. An idol, you idiot. There was the letter... To whom it may concern, if you are reading this that the box has been opened, then you must understand that you are in extreme danger. Immediately after reading this letter, seal the box shut again and flush it back into space. The evil must not be released upon mankind again. At time of writing, I am an agent of a joint MI5, MI6 operation called the Special Talent Project. Details of my post here should be on record. My real name is classified information by my own request. I am commonly known as Trilby. In the year 1993, when I was a cat burglar, I was in intimately involved in what became known as the Defoe Manor case. I, along with Simone Taylor, James Fowler, Philip Hardy, and a man called AJ, found ourselves trapped in Defoe Manor at the mercy of wrath. After five days and the deaths of AJ and Hardy, I was able to identify the ghost as that of Sir Roderick Defoe's retarded son, whom I later named John Defoe. I was able to exorcise the spirit with assistance of Taylor and Fowler, and Defoe Manor was destroyed by fire. I returned to my thieving lifestyle, confident that John Defoe would be at peace. In 1995, I was apprehended by the authorities and, in return for amnesty, was offered the opportunity to lend my services to the government. I took a position as a field agent in the Special Talents Program. In the early months of 1997, I was brought news that Simone Taylor had been murdered in her home by an assailant wielding a large slashing weapon. Since a connection, I immediately began my own investigations into activity on J John Defoe. It was as I had suspected. Looters and trophy hunters had discovered the idol intact in the ruins of the mansions. The idol was a crude African trinket, picked up by Sir Roderick on one of his many adventures in 19th century Africa. When Sir Roderick used it to beat his unwanted son to death, it became a vessel for John's life. In the mansion, merely touching the idol would cause a person to be possessed by the wraith, wraith, mindlessly murdering everyone they encountered for as long as the possession lasted. Calling in some favors, I had the idol brought to me, heavily sealed in protective casing. I had to be, it had to be destroyed. I considered burning it, but I deemed that too risky. The evil could have remained in the ashes, spread out over a wider area. I realized then that mankind would never be safe as long as any trace of John Defoe remained on Earth. Yeah, and apparently in space too. I have placed all of John Defoe's artifacts in a metal coffin and persuaded NASA to send it off into space with something. As soon as I have finished this letter, I will seal it into the coffin with everything else and have the package shipped to Cape Canaveral. I remain confident that this will ensure that John Defoe, remain John Defoe remains exile. However, the fact that you are reading and presumably understanding this document indicates that my confidence was misplaced. Please, no matter what year it is or how advanced you believe you are, do not attempt to combat John Defoe. He cannot be destroyed by conventional means or reasoned with on human territory. 
you must eject him back into space immediately and tell no one of your discovery. The lives of you and everyone you love are at stake. The decision you make now, you will have... Oh, okay. You read the letter. Why didn't you shoot the box back into space? I didn't think it was for real. Really? And how would I have explained that to the captain? For God's sake, Adam. Besides, I didn't touch anything else in the box. I just closed the box, left everything how it was, and went back to bed. Do you really think I caused all this? No, Adam, I don't. Somehow I think the box would have found a way to get itself open. Somehow. Okay. Let's just get out of here. Here's the access card. Oh, okay. That didn't work. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> Uh, I'm not exactly particularly sure how to do that. Damn it. Uh, uh. Well, that's going to be difficult to figure out. Damn it. Alright, well, I guess... Because I can't restart it, because that'll just take me back to the very beginning. <sighs> what do I do when it does that? Yes, I'm looking at this again. Okay. Quickly operate the lever for the rightmost escape. Well, I kind of figured that. I thought there was going to be something a bit more complex than that. Knowing how this has gone so far. Well, fail. <laughs> Ugh. All right. Let me check something really quick. No, oh, that minimized. Cool. That's not what I was hoping for. Holy freaking cow, I'm going crazy. Ah! What has it been? Oh, well. Time ran out anyway. Okay. Well, I'm going infinite now. Alright, I guess we're leaving it on another game over. Hey, I suck. <laughs> well, I'll go ahead and save directly before. Um... Adam, the, the, the little monologuing with Adam, like him reading the letter, yada, yada, yada. But in the meantime, I am going to leave this video here. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Oh, I feel like we're reaching closer, getting closer to the end now. But if you like the video, push that like button, and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. If you got any suggestions for me for any uh, horror games that I could play, just let me know in the comments below. If you want to check out any of the footage that I've done in the past, just click the box over there. <laughs> and in the meantime, I'm out and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!